What a competition we've just witnessed in Indiana. The US trials were brilliant. Some amazing races, some very fast times, and a great spectacle for all swim fans out there. In this video from Propulsion Swimming, we're gonna take a quick look back at the meet and give you our top five takeaways from the 2023 US swimming trials. There's no better place to start than with a swimmer who has taken down a Michael Phelps national age group record. Thomas Hailman is a swimmer everyone should be keeping their eyes on, not just for the future, but also this summer. He came away with silver medals and new 15 to 16 national age group records in the 100 and 200 meters butterfly, with the 200 being the most amazing performance. Hailman's time of 154.54 makes him the fastest 16 year old in American history, and is faster than what Phelps swam at that age, which of course was the world record at that point in time. At just 16 years old, he has a very bright future ahead of him. What a meet Reagan Smith had. We built her up in our own preview video, and blimey, does she deliver. Her performances were outstanding in Indiana, most notably in the backstroke events. She recorded a time of 27.14 in the 50 meters backstroke, she swam a US Open record in the 100m backstroke in a time of 57.71 and in the 200m backstroke she swam a 203.80 which was another US Open record and also places her at number 2 in the world for that event as well. With her 100m swim being within 3 tenths of a second of the world record and her 200 performance securing her place on the team in the event for the first time since 2019 the head-to-head -head she's going to have with Australian Kaylee McEwen in Japan is going to be awesome and one we certainly cannot wait to watch. Let us know in the comments section below with a USA flag or an Australian flag who you think will come out on top. Well, the men's 100m freestyle on day one didn't go the way everyone thought, did it? There were some big names that didn't even qualify for the final. Names such as Caleb Dressel, Brooks Curry, Kieran Smith, Shane Cassis and Hunter Armstrong all not fast enough in the heats to make the top eight. And then the final wasn't the way it was scripted either. Even though Ryan Held went into the final fastest with a time of 47.63, which actually ranks him as number five in the world this year, it was Jack Alexi who finished first in 47.93, followed by Chris Giuliano, Matt King, and Destin Lasko to round up the top four, pushing Held, who swam a time of 47.80, in the final into fifth. The top four make up a very unexpected and unlikely men's 4x100 free relay for Japan. This was a huge turn up for the books, very much a shock to everyone and might just be the changing of the guard in this event. It was a meet to remember for long time NCAA star Kate Douglas who answers critics and translates her performances from yards to long course meters. She had blistering swims in the 100m events, where she swam a 52.57 in the 100m freestyle and a 56.43 in the 100m butterfly. Not only did she smash her 100m swims, but also her 200m events as well, where she swam a 221.22 in the 200m breaststroke and an outstanding 207.09 in the 200m IM where she is now ranked number two in the world this year, showcasing her utterly insane versatility. Her US Open record performance in the 200 IM makes her the second fastest American ever and sets up a mouth-watering mega race between herself, Summer McIntosh, Alex Walsh and Kayla McEwen in Japan. And we've got to finish our list with Katie Ledecky. She still amazes me and I'm sure a lot of you guys as well at the things she's able to do in the pool. Her 807 800 meters freestyle swim was simply brilliant. It was a championship record, placed as her number one ranked swimmer in the world by eight seconds and was only two seconds off her own world record. Her 200 and 400 swims maybe weren't up to her ridiculous high standards but her final event, the 1500, was sensational. She swam under 15 minutes 30 for the first time since March 2020 and recorded the sixth fastest time ever in the event. It's safe to say she's nearly back to her very best, especially in those longer distance freestyle events. And that's our top five takeaways from the 2023 US Swimming Trials. Lots of quick times and plenty of dramatic races as it always is over in the States. There are plenty of things we've missed out in this video like Dressel's return, Michael Andrew missing the team and of course those controversial DQs so let us know in the comments section below if you think there are any other things that should be included in our list. 
That's it for this video from Propulsion Swimming. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, hit that notification bell, like this video, comment underneath, and of course, please subscribe to the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel to stay up to date in the world of swimming. Until next time, I'll catch you on the next one.